Hello everyone, I am Alicia Richard and welcome to my YouTube channel and I have my amazing sister here with me. Toya, go ahead and introduce yourself. My name is Latoya Marie and I am a licensed cosmetologist and beauty salon owner in Delaware. I am happy to say that I am a sister lock specialist. All two things from this young lady sitting right here, Miss Alicia Richard. Yay! All right, so we're going to hop right on in. But before we do, we also have some special guests that are going to come and join in with us. So come on in, come on in. Now we're, we are family. No, you know what we can sing? We are. <laughs> and we are. We are the baby family. All right, so again, y'all. Um, no, we really could sing it, though, real quick, though. Yeah, you want to? Yeah. Okay. Go ahead and start it off. We are the Bateman family. From Andrews, South Carolina. We are, we are the Bateman family. Where y'all from, girl? Introduce themselves really quick. I'm their mother, Gloria Bateman. Yep. I already introduced myself. I'm Latoya. Uh huh. I'm Deja. Yay! So this is literally like a spontaneous video because everyone, every woman in our family actually has locks, some sort of locks. Rather, it's sister locks or traditional locks. It's down from a mom here um to even nieces like everybody yeah, has everybody. locks right so everybody can y'all just talk about like what the lock experience has been since you have joined the lock gang so we'll start with deja and let's just go <laughs> <laughs> Well, really, we should start with you because you, you are the one where the reason that we all introduce us to locks. Yes. <laughs> well, yes. okay. Well, well, okay. So my lock journey started seven years ago. Um, I got my locks on my thirtieth birthday, and I was natural like for at least eight years. So to make a long story short, I got tired of all the things that you get tired of, right? So I started kind of just dipping and dapping in the sister locks and then I looked into it and I was like, oh, this is really cool. Um, so I went ahead and got my locks and then I just encouraged everybody else to kind of just like, come on y'all, like, let's just do it, right? So <laughs> yeah. That's kind of what happened. Yeah. So that's kind of how the journey started. So whoever else want to go next? Okay, but I think I was the next one that came, Deja and I kind of went on yeah. our journey at the same time. And I looked at her locks, her locks was really beautiful. And I thought about it, but I said, no. And I remember talking to my sister about me getting locks. And she said to me, she said, girl, you know you always want to comb your hair. And I thought about that too. And then with all the different styles, you always got to find a style for your natural yes. hair. You got to worry about, especially if it's natural, if you, if you press it and you go out the next day, it's already mm -hmm. spongy again. And I mean, it's just from one thing to the next. And then when Toya moved away, she was my hairstylist and I didn't have anyone to do my hair. And when Alicia went into the locks and I used to ask her to do my hair and she would always say, mom, I'm going to tell you right now, you might as well lock your hair. She said, because when you get older, I'm going to lock your hair. <laughs> she said, I'm going to lock your hair. And this is what she said to me. She said, because ain't nobody got time for all that hairstyling and all that fixing stuff. So and, and that kind of convinced me to lock my hair because I, I couldn't always do it myself, you know. And it was kind of long and it was always tiresome to your arms when you get, you know, as speaking as an older person. It gets tiresome to your arm for trying to always trying to do your own hair. So when I locked it, it was like a relief for me. And now I can do anything I want to with it. I can 
get it wet and don't worry about it. I don't have to worry about hot combing. I don't have to worry about rolling. If I wanted to want uh, something different with it, I could twist it and it will curl, you know. Mm -hmm. I can keep it uh, braided up a little bit sometimes and it'll it'll curl and it'll, it'll be like... That's when it's like, like, hair. Like, like... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it'll do what you want it to do. It's just long. It will do every of uh, every style that you can even think about that you're doing with your hair. Now you can do it if it's long. And I'm gonna let them up go and say something about it. <laughs> Deja, you well, was next. <laughs> well, guys, I'm just gonna be very transparent here. Can we have a transparent moment? Okay. I got locks because I don't like doing my hair. I don't like making hair appointments. I don't like looking for a hairstylist. I don't like looking for a hairstyle. <laughs> okay. So that said, um, I started law. I started my first law journey um, when I was maybe 18. Actually, my freshman year in college, I started my first first law journey. I tried um, comb coils and with my texture of hair, it didn't quite work the way I wanted it to. Because with the comb coils, it's almost like you have to keep retwisting and retwisting and retwisting when you first start your journey, or it'll get fuzzy. And like y'all, I had looked like Don King niece. Like my the front of my head was always fluffy. Like it just it just never looked right. So I combed that set out, and it started over what four years ago. So 2020, I started my locks again, and this time I started with interlocking. Um, that turned out to be a much better start for me because the roots held long enough for me to wait until my next retwist. Um, so with that being said, with my main detest for finding a hairstyle <laughs> and a hairstylist and with doing things to my hair, locks was the best <laughs> hairstyle that's always beautiful that yes. I could ever go for. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I guess it's my turn. Um, so after Alicia got her locks, and then she convinced mom, and mom got her locks, and then mom, and after mom, Deja got her locks, and then after Deja, I was the next person to get my locks. Now, let me just say, I am a licensed cosmetologist, and I have had natural hair for a while, but I never would wear my natural hair. I always wore my natural hair and crochet braids so you would never see my hair and even my clients that would come in they would be like do you even have hair because we never see it <laughs> I would never wear my hair and so Alicia uh, Alicia said come on y'all this is the wave I think you should lock your hair everybody should get locks and so uh, I still was not convinced at all and so Alicia said well I'm getting ready to take the sister lock class and I think you should come and take the sister lock class with me for your clients who are transitioning into sister locks. So it was at that moment. I said, you know, I'm going to do the class, but I still was not convinced to get my hair locked. But I was going to do the class as a way to, you know, push my business forward. So Alicia and I took that trip along with my sister Marlena, who is now locked. <laughs> all of us are locked. And not here. And not here. She's not here. All of us are now locked. Love and so we all went to Florida. <laughs> And we took the sister lock class. And so in order to become, um, you know, uh, what is it, Alicia? In order to become a, uh, what is it? Consultant. Yeah. Consultant. You have to have three uh, sister lock clients, and then those clients are graded. So at this point, Alicia needed someone's hair. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so, oh, my God. I was her patient zero. So I was the first person that Alicia did locks on. So we actually flew to Texas, and no, she we went to Florida. No, we went to Texas. Oh, we went to we yeah yeah, we went yeah, to yeah, Texas. yeah we went to Texas. Went to Texas for for an event, and it took us uh, thirty six hours. It took thirty six hours for me to get my locks installed. Oh. So Alicia did my locks in three days. Was it three days? Yeah, almost three days. And she and I, uh, she is my hairstylist. <laughs> so she is the person that actually started my journey. And I will say, I love having my locks. I love having yes. my sister locks. Yes. I personally think this was the best decision 
that I, me personally, could yes. have ever done. Yes. And I'm so glad that she was the trailblazer for our family yes. to help present us with this natural lock style. Yes. But what but I will say, and my mom and I was talking, that even as children, my mom encouraged us to wear our natural hair. Yes. We always wore our natural hair. We weren't like very, as kids, we weren't like very a big wig wearers, weed wearers or anything like that. And my mom made sure we all went to the hair salon and stuff like that. And we all yes. wore our own real hair. Yes. So this was just another step in making sure that we keep that trend and making sure we wear our natural hair. Yes. Which I so, think is beautiful. Yes. Right, right. Yeah. Well, I mean, everybody has their own unique journey, yes. right? Yeah. So I would say, like, what do you all think is the, the best thing about having locks we mentioned it a little bit before as far as some of the freedom right mm -hmm. and not having a stylist and all of that but what is something that's kind of like outside right of the box that you think would be would contribute to the best decision right um i know for me mine is once upon a time but it gave me a, a lot more time to do other things like pray more or exercise or you know prepare meals like my whole life changed so what do you think that it would be for you all as far as just the freedom and how has it contributed you know what i'm saying like this journey how has it been anybody really freedom i mean really i mean when you say really free just think about it you can put on your best outfit and don't worry about your hair. Mm -hmm. You can you can, <laughs> you can dress, you can put on your gown, you can put on whatever you want to put on. And you're not worried about your hair because your hair is already done. Yes. Mm -hmm. It's already done. Always done. So so to me, that's just the freedom of knowing that my hair is already done. Always got a style. Always. <laughs> always. You can put it up to the side. You can put it in the top. You can put it, roll it up however you want to do it. Right. But your hair is done. Always, always done. Always, always done. done. Anything yeah. else anybody want to say that has really helped them? Like, you know, maybe a boost of confidence, maybe? Would you say, like... Having locks taught me to be patient. Ooh. Because when you first, when everybody starts their locks, I know for me, I was already natural. Um, so I had gotten a perm, but I had already been natural again for maybe two years before I had gotten my locks. So I might have had four inches of hair, but everybody knows when you start your lock journey that Ooh. four inches turn mm -hmm. into one and a half. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yes. yes. that part. So, Yes. When my first style, I was ready to take my first style out. And then when I finally took it out, it was like, oh, shucks. <laughs> <laughs> what are those? You know? Yes. So, um, you know, it really taught me to be the trust the process. Yes. Because, yes. of course, yes. as months went on, as years went by, you start to notice, oh, I'm getting a little yeah. droppage there. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting a little droppage there. And, you know, now, now I'm at... <laughs> so you know it, it this yeah. journey definitely did um teach me patience yeah yeah yeah, yeah. That's I, good. I would say um it definitely have locks definitely saves you money Ooh. i would say it has saved a lot of money because by the time you add up the products that you have to buy by the time you add up the weaves the wigs um, the amount of money that you spend yearly, combs, brushes, all that stuff, and you and think about if you get somebody to install it or do it for you. Yes, it saves you time and it saves you money. That for me was the biggest thing because really and honestly, you don't realize the amount of time you spend in the hair store trying to figure out what is the next style you're going to get or browsing through Pinterest or browsing through Google search. And you can spend anywhere from 20 minutes to two hours trying to figure out your next hairstyle. So that saves you time. And then also saves you money from wandering in the hair store, walking mm -hmm. down every aisle, looking to see which curl you want next, what color you want next, how do you want to try it out? So I feel for me, um, saving time and money on products and, and weaves and weaves and hair. Yes. Got it. Yes. So what... Okay, so somebody that may be watching this video may be like, whoa, 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 all y'all sound good, but I'm still a little bit on the fence, right? 
So what is something you feel like you could tell somebody that is a little hesitant and not really convinced that all four of us on this couch <laughs> have some different variation of, you know, lock? So what is that thing that you would say, like, to convince somebody that this is the choice First, or an option? Research, research, research. research. That's what I was thinking. Um, a lot of people like the style of sister locks, but don't have the green of hair to support the longevity of sister locks. Um, a lot of people like, you know, the micro lock style or the thick dreadlock style or curly ends and they don't have the hair type to support that in the long run. Um, so first and foremost, research, yeah. research, research yeah. before you decide what it is that you're going to do. Yeah, that's what I was thinking, research. Yeah, definitely research your locks, your your loctician, and the different uh, styles. Yeah, I would have to agree. Um, yeah, and it's a preference thing. I yeah. mean, you know, locks aren't for, for everybody. everybody. Mm -hmm. um, you have to first be confident in who you are first. Yeah. Mm -hmm before you decide on a new hairstyle, you know? So it's definitely a preference thing too. Um, definitely. When you make that choice. Yeah. Yeah. Talk about like the different hair textures. I know we say like every style, right? Isn't for everyone. Just like how me and Latoya, we have sister locks, but then Deja and my mom have traditional locks, right? So it's also your preference, you know, what you want, because I don't think, oh, she combined her some of her locks. Um, so long um, story short. Yeah. Remember previously I said low maintenance and I do not like getting my hair done because I don't like setting appointments. So um, I realized my first retwist after I started my locks, it was so many locks <laughs> back there, y'all. Like it was so much going on. And, and it got to the point where, you know, I would ask other people with locks like, well, I know I don't like making an appointment. So do, how do you do your own hair? And start looking up how to do my own hair. And I started trying to twist something. Y'all, my arm was tired. My <laughs> arms was so tired. So at that point, I decided, well, you know, maybe I'll put some of these things together. Try to save me a little more time, you know. But in the long run with my green of hair, putting them together to make thicker locks was honestly the better decision for me. Because I, when I get my hair retwisted or when I get styles and stuff, like my roots aren't pulling so bad because my roots are thin or, you know, I have a much yes. better time with, with yes. the thicker locks for that. Yeah. So tell us so, how, oh, go ahead. Oh, so like, okay, so can we say how our each one of our locks were started? So, of course, we know you had sister locks. And then mom, her locks were started, braided. Yeah, just small braids. Oh yeah, braids. Yeah. It was start, she start she she braided it first, and then she started interlocking it as time went on. That's how I started my locks, which I love that way better because I I'm the person that I don't like to sit for sixteen hours, twenty hours to get my hair with the sister locks, and I felt that for me that that was a little bit too much, too long. So I picked and I decided on what was best for me. And, and and all your decision making, you have to do that. You have to decide what fits you best because what fit Alicia was not for me. The, 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 the idea of locking my hair, okay, that was good. But what type of lock I wanted and how long I wanted them, how big the size of them, that made a difference for me. That made a difference. Yeah, and then Deja, you started yours with interlock. I started mine with interlock, interlock comb coils. Um, and what was what was what else we said? We did. Uh, we were just talking about the different how, ways how we got started. that we started oh, yeah. our locks. We did interlock comb coils. Um, and I think you you actually started my second set of locks. Yes. Um, at that time, I think you were on that micro lock sister lock thing yeah. where you were just starting those. So you when you started them, they were kind of small. Um, and then I think the thickness helps with the longevity of styles too, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. but yeah. And we always have to say too, I know you might, you might say this, that there are, uh, positives and negatives, even with having locks, mm -hmm. you know, yes. some people be sure you get a stylist that's not going to style your locks too tight and pulling your hair out because I mean that then that's just like somebody's braiding your hair too tight. Are you putting in wigs and what the glues and stuff all around your hair that your uh, your um edges are coming out so mm -hmm. i mean all of these things we as our darker skin people have to keep 
in mind about our hair. Remember, the Bible says our hair is our glory, and we want to treat it right and condition it and do all the things that we need to do for our hair so we can continually. All right, so really quick, we'll talk about how often we get our locks maintained, right? For me, I go every four weeks, and it normally takes her about two and a half, sometimes three hours to do lock so for me i am on a four week rotation how about everybody else on me it's almost like a six weeks but then latoya tell me not to always go that long <laughs> because they'll start growing together they'll they'll grow your hair will grow into each other and then when you do get it done and then mind you you have a soft yeah my hair is so yeah, soft yeah. and i don't want my style is ripping or tearing my hair apart so i go like from four to six weeks and you're tender headed too and i'm very tender headed and everybody can't do my hair <laughs> <laughs> I have a stylist and she's very gentle with me. And so, that's the good thing, pick you pick a good stylist. And I think I think the key too is we are we all have different textures of hair. Mm -hmm. Even though, you know, we're all in the same family, we all have different textures of hair. Mom's hair is very, very curly, very fine. Um, that's how her hair is. Deja hair is very similar to my mom's hair. Her hair is also very curly and um, I don't know like 4C, 3B, we don't, I don't know any of that stuff, but her hair is definitely curly. Leisha's hair is coarse. very, very coarse. Very, I think her hair is actually the coarsest out of everyone's <laughs> hair. Yes. And growing up, Big. she was very, very tender headed. So for her, locks was definitely an option. My hair is kind of right in the middle of both uh, mom and Leisha. So my my hair is somewhat curly, but it's also very, very, very coarse, but not as coarse as Leisha's is. Yeah. So um, I actually get my retides whenever I can, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I, don't have, I don't have a rotation oh my um, because my I live in Delaware and my hairstylist lives in South Carolina. <laughs> My, so for me, and because I'm retying everybody else's hair all the time, um, it's kind of whenever I can make the time to do my hair. So I don't even do my, I can't even say every six weeks, eight weeks or whatever. It's just whenever I feel that I have the time to even do my hair. So I don't have a rotation. Deja. Now y'all, remember, earlier I said, I don't like getting my hair done. <laughs> Um, I don't like making appointments because nobody is available when I want them to be available. <laughs> so with that being said, um, I get my hair done three to four times a year. Um, with that three to four times a year, um, in between those times, I'll do some self-maintenance around the front, you know, just to keep it presentable. Um, but usually three to four times a year, that includes special events like weddings and things of that nature. But um, three to four times a year works for me without my hair matting too bad or, or anything like that. So. And just mention right now, you're getting your hair palm rolled. And yes, yes, yes. So yeah. I transitioned from interlocking to palm rolling, um, because I started to notice with the interlocking, some of my roots in certain places were a little thin. They were getting a little thinner. Um, so I started palm rolling to try to bring some of that strength back to my roots. Um, and that, that worked very well as of you know up till now um and that also helps with me being able to wait so long and in between um and it also reduces the tension the constant tension on your hair is part of the reason why maybe your locks won't grow so you have to put some time in between all of the pulling and the styling and the constant retwisting you have to take some time off from that um you know throughout throughout the course of you having locks okay all right Anybody else got any closing remarks or anything to say or add? Well, be sure you wash your hair. <laughs> wash and dry <laughs> your locks. Wash and dry your locks. Locks can build up mold. mold. Yeah. Yeah, they so can. So make sure you thoroughly wash your hair, thoroughly dry your hair. Make sure you add a little condition and moisturizer in your routine, too. Yes. Yeah. Oh, keep your hair clean. Wrap up with hair hair routines. What do you guys do to keep your locks strengthened and um, maintain the longevity of your? I normally oh. just do water and oil yeah. on my hair. That's, That's what I, I do. do. 
um talia waji oil is what i would do like on the ends and stuff and i would miss my hair a lot but that's only because i've been locked for seven years but if you're just starting your locks and you can't do that mm -hmm. so um but that's how i normally maintain um my yes. hair yes oil i do oil and water a lot of oil and water myself too yes and remember uh when you first get them done like this and you can't do nothing on your hair because you don't want them to Slip, slip out so you have to wait like like they just said it is a process and if you air and if you decide to get locked you hear that a lot it's the process you know trust the process <laughs> but it's not growing trust the process that's what they always say so trust the process yeah you love it um i do nothing to my hair <laughs> i'm gonna be honest i don't use any products on my hair at all um, I don't sleep with a bonnet. I don't sleep with a satin cap. I don't do any of that. I I don't do anything. I, I really, um, because Sister Locks is like a product-free system. So technically, you don't have to use any products. When it's time for me to uh, shampoo my hair, uh, now that my hair is locked, I use, like, I still use a clarifying shampoo, and I also use a moisturizing shampoo. And from time to time, I will miss my hair with like some distilled water with some essential oils or some rose water with some essential oils in a bottle and I'll spray on my hair as I feel if it's feeling dry I will do that but um I don't you currently I don't use any oils or anything on my hair or my scalp uh, I just use uh some some water and some essential oils in that spray bottle that's what I do yeah okay okay I remember I don't do too much with my hair um, but no, in transparency, um, I use rosemary oil. Um, rosemary oil works very well with stimulating growth for me. Um, I also use tea tree oil. Um, that also does well with moisture and, you know, keeping my locks pretty, pretty good. Um, I also use water as well, just for extra moisturizing. Yeah, so what I will say too, I just want to add this in. Um, because a lot of people, they want to get extensions in their locks. As a uh, licensed professional, licensed cosmetologist, that is your choice if you do decide to do lock extensions. But my personal preference is enjoy the journey. Mm -hmm. Trust the process. Trust the process. Because if there's nothing like looking through your photos and seeing your start to finish with your own hair. Not only that, you have locks that are consistent from the root to the ends so my advice to anyone who is thinking about cheating their way through the lock processes don't cheat take the journey trust the process because in the end you will love the outcome you will win <laughs> <laughs> Oh, wow. Well, thank y'all so much for joining me. I'm sure that everybody enjoyed this conversation. You all good luck on your lock journey. And Come we love y'all. Yes, join, join us, us, join us, join yes. us, join us, join us. Yes. And that's it, y'all. I guess we'll see them the next time that Toya comes back to South Carolina. And Marlena. we all decide. And Marlena. And, Marlena. <laughs> and we all decide to come back on the screen again. So thank y'all yes. so much for joining us. And we'll see y'all the next time. Bye. Bye.